Often it feels like there's really like two approaches. It's either like it's all modern or it's all traditional. How do we take the historic creeds and confessions, which are beautiful, but how do we update and bridge that to also using technology to highlight our building, to highlight our worship, to bring those two worlds together? When the building was built, there wasn't any kind of modern or like DMX or data infrastructure. What we're trying to do is modernize it from the ground up. And it was all old technology, it was all stage pin, we had very little control. So there was some of it was just practical, we need to convert to LED, we need more control. It was really about setting um, up Seven Rivers for not just today, but even just, you know, what they might want to do 10, 15, 20 years from now. In the original lighting setup, it was on or it was off, it was bright, it was dim. It was not always bright and dim in the same places across the room at one time. And so, you know, we were trying to fix things on a practical level, like house light coverage. Um, but we're also trying to uh, essentially create a palette, a tool, so that the team can continue to express creatively what they want to be able to express. The church was really happy with the space, and so really the decision to rework the chandelier was to basically give a comprehensive and co cohesive upgrade to the whole auditorium. Essentially, we're reconstructing all the internals of the chandelier here in Colorado so that when we get to the field, literally the guys just have to lift it up and bolt it in. We want to reflect the beauty of our Savior because He's beautiful. With these lights, our hope is that's going to help enhance that. We also want it to, to aid in people who have not come here before, um, who might be checking us out on the live stream, which practically our old lights were awful for the stream. Just not good coverage, not good lighting. It didn't look good on camera. And most people these days are going to check out your stream before they ever walk into your doors. You know, when you incorporate anything new into a space, you know, you want to know that what we're doing is really in line with the vision. And I say that because, you know, we can go in and throw 20 moving lights in there, uh, throw a bunch of color. But if the vision isn't there for that, then one, it's a waste of money. But two, like, it's only going to be a source of tension. So I think what Adam and Brandon and the team did that was really great is, you know, they created a vision. They created a need, a hunger for something, and then we're able to translate that.